So when you're ready, let's just bring, bring ourselves to the back of our mat. And let's bring some attention to our breath here. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And let's really try to ground our feet, all four corners of the right foot, all four corners of the left foot. Big toe all the way across to the little toes. Out the sides, down the sides, to the back and around the other side. And I want you to just start this gentle twist. And as you twist, your hands are gonna kind of start to tap kidneys and chest, kidneys and heart, kidneys and lungs. And we're just gonna breathe and twist. Wake the body up, wake the nervous system up. Bring attention to our intention, which is to create space, which is to increase circulation, which is to get some of those nice happy chemicals in the brain going. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one, and let's let's big hug it out. Big chest stretch. Kind of increasing our pace here a little bit. You can pad the ground a tad if you like. Whatever speaks to you, really. <clears throat> Find the pace that works for you. Fill that chest up. Big exhale. Aggressive in. Pass it out. One more time. Aggressive in. Pass it out. All right, now let's take it up to the sky. Reach those fingertips up. And I want you to take the fingertips out to the sides. Get as wide as you can. Dropping the shoulders down. Perfect. And let's fold those hands into flexion. Extend those hands into extension. Fold and extend. Fold and extend. Three, two, one. Drop those arms, shake them out. Big inhale, reach back up. And arms go out, full wingspan. Fold and extend. Fold and extend. Fold and extend. Two more, fold and extend. One more, fold and extend. Drop those arms out, shake them out. You don't have to have stationary feet either. You'll see me kind of hopping around a little bit. You just do what feels good. I'm doing this because it feels good. All right, big inhale up one more time. Fill those lungs up as best you can and exhale it. Fold and extend. Flexion, extension, three more. Flexion, extension, fight for a little more range. Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension, last one, flexion, extension. Now we're gonna fold ourselves down. Fold, 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 just halfway, okay? So spine is going straight out the back and your top, top, your crown of your head is straight across the room from you. Back so you can see what's going on. Then we're going to come down into a full fold and we're just gonna hang here, okay? Hang and breathe, let the weight of your arms do the work. We're just passively sending a stretch down our low back, down our hamstrings, maybe up in your mid back, however you are uniquely tight. This will speak to you a little bit differently. So let's take our hands, and I want you to pretend that there's like a piano keyboard in front of you, and you're just gonna play a few chords. You're just gonna gently pulse, gently pulse down, to the low keys, and then up to the middle keys, and then up to the higher keys, and then back to the middle keys, and then down to the low keys, right back to the middle keys, up to the high keys, and right back to the middle keys again. Then we're gonna take our hands, and I want you to grasp each elbow, and I want you to nod your head, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just release any tension you've got in your neck. For five, four, three, two, one. Now straight that head, no. No, oh, thank you, I do not want hot sauce on my anything right now. Ice cream. Spaghetti. 
three, two, one, and let's softly bend your knees and tuck your tailbone, and then we're gonna roll up. You can hold your arms, you can release them, whatever feels good to you. you roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're stacking, 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 stacking. Stacking, 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 and the head is the last thing to come up onto our shoulders. Big breath, feeling that air, filling those lungs rather with air. Two more. Really work on maximally expanding the rib cage. One more. One more time, and let's bring the arms up with it. Big inhale, and let's go out to the side. We're gonna swan dive down. Spine is straight. We're hinging at the hips, hinging at the hips, hinging at the hips. We're coming all the way down. This time, our hands are gonna come all the way to the ground, and we're gonna walk out into a high plank. Okay, so high plank. Let's check in with our trunk. See everything is that's on. It needs to turn on. Maybe that needs to. Uh, wake up and help out. I like to wag my hips side to side <clears throat> Just to make sure everything is helping usually my right side is a little more dominant So my left side I'll kind of <clears throat> scrub out a little bit. So make sure hey, it's time to work All right, let's kick it into a downward facing dog. So no rush here, right? This is our first down dog of the day and We are gonna pedal a little bit Pedal those feet just a tad and I like to sway a little bit also as I'm pedaling, find some lines of tension in the side body. But the most important thing is whatever speaks to you, do that. If it feels good, do it. As far as yoga is concerned, other things we can call into question before we decide to pull the trigger or back away. All right, so we're pedaling. Also pawing, right? So you wanna make sure those biceps are turned out away from your ears as best you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Now left leg, let's kick it up five times while we drive that right heel down into the ground. So here we go, lifting up, come down, tap and touch, lifting up, Tap and touch, there's two, lift up, there's three, lift up, four, and on our fifth, we're going to swing that leg on the outside of our left hand, and then come down and just bring that right knee down on the ground. And now we're just gonna kind of scan in the stretch. What does my right hip flexor feel like? What does my left hamstring feel like? Just scan, feel what needs feeling. Let your body weight do the work for you. Focus on your breath, okay? Because the more you can inhale and then focus on a nice long exhale, inhale short, long exhale, the more relaxed we're going to be and the more we can tell our muscles we are in a safe space to do some work. So they can just start thinking about releasing some of that tension. Maybe shift your hips to the right. Maybe shift them to the left. Maybe twist them a little bit. Just play. Find what works for you. And here we go. Now, we're going to run, move from a runner's lunge back to a Samson lunge. And you may heel toe your foot out to the side a little bit more. You can keep it where it is. It's a really a personal preference. I do want you to try to keep your hands right about where they are. Um, so here's what this is going to look like. We're going to go from a hinge here on our front knee. And we're going to shift our legs back and load up that back knee and so so I've got my my weight is on my right my right femur now and I'm just keeping this kind of bowing position here and really feeling a lot of stretch on our, our left hamstring and just breathe next inhale let's move back to our runner's lunge next exhale back to Samson inhale runners Exhale, Samson. Inhale, runners. Exhale, Samson. Inhale, runners. Exhale. I think that's five. Inhale. Try to get a little bit deeper in that stretch. Each time you uh, arrive.
We got three more. Move with your breath. Perfect. Okay, so now from this runner's lunge position, I want you to kind of heel toe your back knee up and forward, and you're going to come to a half kneeling position. And we're going to do some isometric work for just a sec. So I find it's easier, more comfortable to straighten this back leg, uh, straighten this back foot out. It feels better on my kneecap. So what I want you to do is you're going to make sure that you have tension on this hip flexor quadricep, okay? So you're kind of like, hey, check out my belt buckle. Boom, you're showing somebody your belt buckle. All right, so you've got this posterior pelvic tilt, and we're just gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds, excuse me, and focus on the breath while we get this quadricep hip flexor complex relaxed. And we're going to do a set of pales rails while we, uh, and I'll explain what we're doing while we wait for this, uh, this stretch reflex to settle down. So the pales, the progressive angle is we are going to try to squeeze the, I'm gonna to try to slide my right knee forward and my pull my left foot back. So I'm trying to squeeze the earth beneath my feet. And we're going, we're gonna ratchet that tension up 20%, 40%, 60%, da, 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 to safest, greatest effort being 100%. Now, if that feels like 60% should be appropriate for you in the first round, fine, keep it at 60%. Um, just pick the pick the dose response that's uh, effective for you, that's appropriate for you, I should say. Now, that's the pales effort. The rails, the regressive angle is we're going to, you could probably guess, push apart, right? So we're just gonna switch that action. We're gonna go from squeezing with the right and the left to pushing with the right and the left. All right, so let's give it a go here. Here comes the first round. We're gonna grab our air. We're gonna pack it down. When I've got hands free up here, uh, I'll either kind of create, I like to connect to something. I, I might put my hands here or here. Sometimes I'll, I'll do this and pull. I think I'm gonna do this action and pull this time just to see what kind of tension I can create in the upper body. So remember, we're pushing back with the right. We're pushing forward with the left. Grab your pack it down, irradiate 20% of your power. I think I just said that backwards, actually. We're pulling pulling forward with the right and back with the left, yes. We're squeezing together, sorry, yeah, just, just that last one was, was backwards. So let's ratchet up to 40% of your power. We're squeezing the ground beneath us. 60% of your power. 80%, whole body is helping. Safest greatest effort, 100% for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, squeeze that earth beneath you. Four, three, two, one. Now rail it, switch that action. Try to press the ground away. Push, pull it apart. Pull it apart, hard as you can, hard as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. You can relax your upper body. Don't come out of the stretch here in that right hip because that's what we're mainly working here, okay? Uh, so, <sighs> Just breathe. We want to increase that parasympathetic tone, that relax sensation to tell this, the nerves in this tissue here, that it's okay to be at this length. You're not gonna die, everything's fine. Set number two. Here we go, grab the air, pack it down. And radiate. And let's start our pails progression. 20% of your power, squeezing the earth between you, beneath you rather, 40% of your power. What isn't helping? Do a body scan and see what kind of tissues could be on that maybe aren't on. 60% of your power. 80% of your power. Pulling that right knee forward, left heel back. Uh, what are we on, 80 or 100? Uh, let's go to 100, whatever, let's go. Full, full, full board. Go, 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 go for 10, 9, 8, hard as you can safely manage. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. <clears throat> push it out, push that body away, push the, push the ground away. Left foot forward, right shin back, harder, 
hard as you can. Hard for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Don't come out of the stretch. See if you can get a little bit deeper. Maybe come change a little micro angle. Sometimes a little lean will do it. Because this is our desk posture here. This is what, what Fs us up, right? We have this modern movement, or lack of movement, modern posture that includes sitting on your ass. I mean, you gotta do it, really. Sitting on planes, sitting in cars, sitting at your desk, etc., etc. So, we gotta lengthen this tissue, then strengthen it, turn this back on, we'll work on that in just a minute. Okay, grab the air, pack it down, last set, best set. Radiate, and 20% of your power. Squeezing the earth beneath your feet. 40%. Sixty percent. Whole body's helping here. Squeeze more, more. Eighty percent. Safest greatest effort. One hundred percent for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now rail it. Separate the ground. Which you tear a hole in the earth beneath you. Hard as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7. Get that glute firing up in the back. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Just stretch. Stretch that hip. Stretch that right hip for 10. Let the nerves calm down. 9. Bring some awareness back to the breath. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, very nice. Let's come back down to our hands. Tuck the back toe, right toe. Hover that knee. Kick the left leg back as you lift through hips and heart. Let's go back to our downward facing leg. Yeah. There we go. Just pedal those legs out. Pedal them out, pedal them out. <clears throat> Shift those hips, just find new space. That's the idea. And let's drive our left heel down and start on our right side. Right side, three-legged dog. Let's lift it up five times. Here we go. Lift it up. One and two, three, four, and last one. Five. Swing through to the top of the mat, to the ground, or the beach, forest floor, or whatever. And let's just scan this stretch now. Left side's like, oh, hey, I want some of that action that you just gave to the right side. Well, oh, fear not left, because here it comes. A few more minutes. Scan the stretch. Shift right, shift left. Find what works for you. Find what feels good. And don't forget to breathe. Holding your breath is about the last, last thing I want you to do here. Yep, I've got a little hitch in my hip from training uh, for Kokoro that's just like just now kind of coming out. It's something I'm going to constantly work at. So, part of the human condition, I suppose. All right, so let's grab, grab the air, pack it down. I'm sorry, <laughs> we're not grabbing air, packing it down. We're just breathing. Inhale, and I want you to shift back to a Samson lunge on your next exhale. Ugh. Nice and easy on the first one. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Always fight for a little bit more from the hamstrings. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. Exhale, big inhale, and exhale, there it goes in, two more, there it goes out, there it goes in, and there it comes out, all right, let's come back to our runner's lunge, we're going to kind of Knee toe, our left foot, uh, knee forward just a tad. Untuck the left toes in the back. There they are. 
Good, and let's just come to that half kneeling position. Capture the tension in this left hip. We're following the exact same pattern as before on the opposite side. If you feel any asymmetries uh, or things speaking to you, welcome to the human race. Being asymmetrical is part of humanity, but we're working towards it. We're working towards symmetry, working towards perfection, knowing that we will never achieve it, but we take joy in the pursuit. Oh, big breaths. Find that passive range. This is active range. Find that active in range. We're gonna make more, make more of it. So in about 10 seconds, we're going to, I liked this last time. I'm gonna do this again. I felt good on my shoulder blades. I'm going to pull back there. One thing I will do is I'm gonna switch my hand and see what happens. I'm gonna put my dominant hand on top and my secondary hand on the bottom. And I know I'm not gonna be able to pull as hard, but it's easier for my, it's better work for my left shoulder. So that's my personal preference. Perhaps you will find yours as well. Okay, so we're ratcheting up that tension. The, the pail's effort is squeezing the ground beneath us. The rail's effort is spreading it apart. So here we go. Grab the air, pack it down. You radiate 20% of our power, sliding left shin forward, right shin back. Ratchet up to 40% of your power. Definitely some differences in the positions of the hands here. 60% of your power. Whole body's helping here. What isn't working? Get everything online. 80% of your power. Safest, greatest effort, 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rail it as hard as you can. Rail those legs. Make a hole in the earth right beneath you for 8, 7. Squeeze your glutes on the left side. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Don't come out of the position. Holy smokes. I got deep on that one. Whew. Yeah, just breathe. I'm shift my knee a little bit. I need to clean a dent on the floor here. <clears throat> just breathe. We start a second set in about 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Grab that air, pack it down, and irradiate. 20% of your power. Slide left shin forward, right heel back. 40% of your power. Leveling up 60%. 80% of your power. Safest, greatest effort. 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Hard as you can. Hole in the earth right beneath you. Squeeze those left glutes, squeeze left hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Holy shush. Oh. Yeah. One more time. Let's do it again. Woo! Let's do it again. Shifting me again. Whew. Okay, last bet, last set, best set. Here we go. Grab the air, pack it down. Oop, I like it. left hand underneath, personal preference, and you radiate. 20% of your power. Slide left shin forward, right heel back. 40% of your power. 60% of your power. 80% of your power. Save your straight effort. 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rail it. This is for your part. The goal of the earth for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Oh man, my left quad is on fire. Stretch it out, find that new normal. Make a little more space. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Bring those hands, come on down. Ugh.
Lift that left knee off the ground into that runner's lunge. <clears throat> Step back into your plank. Downward facing dog. Feel what you need to feel. Shift your dog left to right. Paw the dog, walk the dog, pet the dog. Don't beat the dog. All right, when you're ready, come down to tabletop. And we're going to crisscross applesauce those feet and then gently push back whoa, into a seated position. <clears throat> now from here, we're gonna give the low chain a break for just a bit. And we're gonna go through some shoulder cars uh, with the upper body. So uh, let's take our right arm and we're going to externally rotate. And I want you to encase the whole body in concrete. Okay, so we got kind of fresh limbs here. We've been really focusing on our, our uh, low chain so far. We're gonna give it a break. It's like, I'm just being redundant now. I don't know why I'm saying the same thing twice. Don't you hate it when people do that? They just do that, like to make it sound more important. They say the same thing and package it differently. It's like you said one thing. So I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm just gonna say externally rotate your shoulder. Grab the air, pack it down, encase it in concrete, and bring it across the midline of the body. I like to block myself on my shin here so I'm not turning my chest out. We get to the end of extension, end of extension, end of extension, and then we, uh, more and more, fight for more, and then turn down for what? Oh. More, 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 more. Keep that elbow nice and high, and then let's hinge it. You can't really see me, but I'm bending my elbow in the back. Turn this side. Here you go. Turn down for what? Try to keep the shoulder blade packed down also. Hinge and then a little tap and then launch that hand again while you're under tension. Externally rotate, externally rotate, externally rotate, and oh, right back around. That's one. This time what I want to do is hang out in the part that sucks the most, which is we know where that is. It's like right up here in this kind of quad quadrant. So we're gonna scrub that out five times. So we're gonna do the worst part five times, all right? So here's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna come and radiate all that jazz. We're gonna come, okay, easy, easy, easy. Now it's a little harder. So we're gonna internally rotate, hinge, and extend, externally rotate. That's one. Internally rotate, hinge, tap, extend, externally rotate. That's two. Internally rotate, hinge, extend. That's three. Fight for more. You're bringing that sponge out. Internal, hinge, extend. That's four. Internal. Hinge and extend. Bring it all the way around. And that's five. Beautiful. Okay. Kiddos, you can probably guess what's next. The other side. So let's grab the air, pack it down. I won't say it twice because it's redundant and I don't need to sound any more important than I already am not. So externally rotate. Radiate. Whole bodies in concrete or moving that arm through thick air or, or honey or something like that. <clears throat> bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. Oh, this one sucks. Oh man, yeah, that's awful. That's awful. Keeping it high, keeping that elbow as high as you can. I'm leading a little bit, catching myself cheating here. Hinge, tap, extend, external, bring it around, and right back down. Now, same thing. I, you know, I'm gonna do a full range again, just personal preference, because my left side sucks. And it just feels like it needs a little bit more. So uh, I'm gonna go one more through before I start on my five. Perfect. Okay, now we do five of the worst parts of that movement. So grab the air, pack it down, externally rotate, across the midline of the body. Scraping out, scraping out. Oh, hi, there's the end of extension. Hello. And then we keep tension, keep that elbow locked out. Internally rotate, best you can. Keep that shoulder blade down. Flex elbow, uh, tap, and extend. Externally rotate, bring it back around. And awesome. Mm, up and around, up and around, up and around, up and around. Internally rotate. Mm. Tap it, and go. And there's two. Just the worst part, just the worst part. Uh, internally rotate, hinge, uh, extend, externally rotate. There's three. Mm, all the way back, all the way back. 
Inhale to rotate. <clears throat> Hinge. <sighs> Extend. Oh, and there's four. <sighs> Last one. <clears throat> Full extension. Full extension. Here we go. And internally rotate. <clears throat> Hinge. <clears throat> Extend. And bring it all the way back around. And there's five. Yeah. Very nice job. Okay. So <clears throat> let's let's give our our shoulders a little bit of love, a little bit more love. Uh, well, that was more sadistic love. That was work. Um, and let's just do a nice old fashioned cross the body, grab above the elbow. This one is so overlooked. A lot of times the easy stuff is like, oh, I could do that in gym class. So why should I do it now? Uh, because you can't move like you used to move is the answer to that. Will always be the answer to that. So I want you to take a big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, I want you to pull, pull that elbow into your uh, chest a little bit more, please. We got five of those. Pull that elbow in. Two more. One more. Excellent, perfect. And let's just exchange. Uh, when you're ready, catch the opposite side, catch that left shoulder with left elbow with your right forearm. And big breaths in. Two more. One more. Excellent, good stuff. Now, bring your hands behind you, bring your kickstands behind you, and I want you to just chill like you're sitting at the beach. I want your shoulder blades as packed together as possible. I mean, you wouldn't sit at the beach like this unless you're like, hey, look at me. But I, I want your fingertips to be uh, pointed outward. Your biceps to be stretched, your oh, bit. fingertips can point out toward back, wherever you need to go to get a bicep stretch. So it might be a narrower stance with your palms. Um, it might be a combination of narrower stance, rota uh, excuse me, angle of the, or direction of the fingers, is a better way to say that, um, and locked out elbows. So if you're super wide, you're probably not gonna feel too, too much. Um, I mean, actually, rotation, externally rotate the, the arms as well. So there's a lot going on, but hey, you're the most complex machine in the known universe. <sighs> oh, we're gonna stay here for, oh, about 30 more seconds. Just focus on the breath. If you can get deeper into the biceps, awesome. If you can get deeper into wherever you're feeling this, awesome, 20 more seconds. Big breath. It's interesting the, the, sim the effectiveness of some of the simplest things that we overlook. It's just like, oh, look at that. It's like weight loss. It's like, how do I do this? People used to ask me that all the time when I was back in my younger you know, bar hopping days. They're like, oh, you're a trainer. And I stopped telling them that I was a trainer. I just told them I was a teacher because no one ever asked after this. They're like, oh, you're a trainer. How do I get a six pack? And like the guys always lift their shirt up and like grab their bellies. And I'm like, well, first thing is to get out of here. Like the first thing I'd suggest is to leave right now, but buy me a drink first. And then here's my number, call me in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's come on out of that. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same, oh, let's flex and extend through that motion. Send some blood back through the elbows because our elbows are kind to us with a golf climb, tennis, rugby, frisbee. Ugh. So, um, uh, elbow cars, right? We're just going to go through those real fast. Um, we've got the radius. I'm sorry, we've got the ulna. The ulna, which is stationary. And we've got the radius that creates a radius around the ulna. So just like our knee cars, if you'll recall, these work very, very similarly, right? There's just no cap on the elbow. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our palms facing up. 
I'm gonna do karate chop hands like this, right? Just so you kind of see what's going on. I'm sending tension through my arms. I'm not just look like, I don't look like this all the time. Um, psych, I do. Sending tension through the arms and we're going to under, we're irradiating. And under that amount of tension, I'm flexing the elbows, then also under tension. We're not just making it quick. It needs to be under tension so we can wring out that tissue. Now I'm uh, rotating the radius about the ulna and then we're extending the elbows. And then we, that's one in, you know, angle A, we'll call it, we'll do B in a minute. Now rotate over, flex back, rotate and extend, that's two. Rotate, flex, rotate, and that's three. Now angle B, we'll call it, is gonna be palms down. We're gonna go through the same thing. So we're wringing the tissue out from the opposite end of the spectrum, if that makes sense, the opposite angle. Of the, I don't know, the opposite orientation. There we go. All right, so keeping keeping tension, opposite orientation. Now, we, now our palms are up as we go into extension, whereas before it was backwards. Flip it over, flex it, flip it over, extend it, flip it over, flex it. Last one, flip it over and extend it. Good stuff. Shake them out, shake them out. Now, <clears throat> that super simple one that I was mentioning, the shoulder uh, across the chest. Here's what we're gonna do now. It's gonna be a little bit different than before, is we're gonna catch here and just find that sh find that stretch, right? So we're going to take a deep breath and as we pulled last time, we pulled in and we exhaled. I'm gonna have you add one thing. I want you to flex the shoulder, All right? So you're just isometrically contracting. So we inhale and we exhale, pull flex the S-H-I-T out of that shoulder and relax. So there's a lot going on there, right? So now you're, you're teasing the tissues apart from each side of the, um, of the, the in, well, I guess the insertion and the, um, the origin. So big breath in and flex and pull in. <laughs> big breath in and exhale. That trash truck there. Big breath in and exhale. Big breath in and exhale. Flex, 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 and relax it. Hey, kissy tacks, come here. If you come in here in my video, you'd be with Chris. I love you, buddy. Yeah, big trash truck. Okay, starting on the left side. Let's keep the trash truck off of Daddy's computer, please. Okay, left side. Catch that. Catch that arm, please. Big breath in and exhale. Pull it in. Flex that left shoulder. Big breath in. Pull it in. Flex that left shoulder. Get a little more tissue out. A little more. A little more. Tease more length out. Big breath in, and flex, 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 flex. And two more times, two more times. Big breath in, and exhale. Pull that tissue in, pull, 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 pull. One more time. Big breath in, and pull that tissue in. Flex, 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 flex. Harder, 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 five. Four, three, two, one, and relax those shoulders. Very nice. Okay, let's go back to the beach. Back to the beach stretch. And we're just finding what works for us. Maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe a little more space in the shoulders. Maybe a little more space in the spine. Now that we've got a little more heat than we did before. Uh, now, what we're going to do is let's uncross our legs. And we're going to go into a tabletop position. Uh, well, I mean, this is technically a tabletop. Oh, it could be a tabletop. Um, it's an inverted table, I guess. So ground yourself into uh, the earth with all four corners of the feet, big toes to the little toes, back to both sides of the heels. And we're going to drive straight up into the atmosphere. And I'd like the knees to be in line with the hips with the shoulders and we're holding here. And the reason we're holding here is because I want you to activate more than what you need. 
right? I wanted you to make sure that your hamstrings are on, that your glutes are on, especially your glutes, because, well, usually they're not. Triceps are firing, the low back is firing. Make sure the left side of the low back is firing, it's helping out the right side. Usually there's one that's more active than another. And we've got, we got 30 more seconds here. So just hold, if you need to take a rest, that's fine, but come on back up. You should be feeling that bicep stretch from before even more. Fifteen more seconds here. Keep the hips high. Make sure those glutes are firing. The low back is firing. If you have a dominant side, my right side is my dominant side. I like to load up my left side more. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently bring the hips down, down, down to a burning ring fire. Good, let's stretch those, let's straighten those legs out, please. And from the belly button, not just from your chest, from the belly button, I want you to get nice and light in your legs, like you're trying to lift your legs off, but in doing so, you're bringing your chest closer to the ground. I'm squeezing my quads, <clears throat> trying to get light in the legs. And then when I get to the basement of this stretch, of this position, whatever it looks like for you, then I'm going to, I'm not lifting with my back, I'm pushing down, I'm reversing that action, I'm pushing down with my heels, right? So on the outside, I'm just going, huh, huh, huh. I'm just kind of bowing. But on the inside, we're turning on the top side stuff to relax and uh, stretch <laughs> the uh, bottom side stuff. Then at the bottom of the stretch in the basement, we're reversing that action, turning it on and pushing up out of the floor. Hopefully that makes sense. So trying, getting light here, trying to, trying to lift up, right? But that's not gonna happen without our kickstands. So getting lighter, getting lighter, decreasing the distance, closing the distance between nose and toes. And then when we get to the bottom of that stretch, we push down, push down and lift back up. You got, what was that, two? We got three more of those. So getting lighter, getting lighter, getting lighter. You can use your kickstands if you want to. Getting lighter, 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 lighter. Get to the end of that passive range, and then we're, we're turning everything on the bottom, pushing into the ground eccentrically. I'm sorry, this is a concentric stretch, sorry. I said that backwards. So we're eccentrically loading on the bottom, bottom part. This means getting long under tension, that's all. Let's bring it down, and then push right back up. Little terminology mix up there. One more time. Here we go. Float, float those legs, float those legs, float those legs, float those legs. You feel a lot of this in your core as well. And now drive into the ground. Drive, 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 drive. Excellent. Park those hands. Park those feet. We got one more tabletop. Grab the air. And exhale as you rise into tabletop. Now maybe you have a little more access to tissues here than you did the first time. That's why we repeat things, so we get better at them. Odd, isn't it? Practice making uh, closer to perfect. So, are my hips on? Are my elbows extended? Are my biceps stretching? Are my shoulder blades back? Are my glutes working? Are my hamstrings working? Are all my toes dug into the ground? These are the things I want you to think about as we count down from 30, 29, 28, to keep scanning, 26, 25, nothing is off here, everything's helping, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hamstrings, knees, calves, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it down, very nice, extend those legs, 5 kinetic stretches, almost done, big breath in, and let's get light in the legs, Close the distance between nose and toes. Do it via the belly button. Get to the bottom of that stretch, and then we reverse that action. Try to make a dent in the floor with your heels. Come on back up. 
Perfect. Reverse that action. Float the legs. Top side stuff is on. Shins are on. Quads are on. Sit in the basement of the stretch for just a sec. Three, two, one. Then reverse that action. Pushing it back up. Closing those tissues down. That's three. Sorry, that's two. Uh, grab the... <laughs> losing it here. All right, it's top side stuff. Flex it. Float those legs up. And then in, at the basement of the stretch, we reverse that action. Dig the heels into the ground. Flexing the bottom side stuff. Float back up. Good stuff. Two to go here. Two to go. Top side stuff flexes. Nose to the toes. Get to the bottom of that stretch. Best you can. Sit there for a breath or a beat. And then reverse it. Turn on the bottom side stuff, hamstrings, heels into the ground. Perfect. There's four, one more time, big breath in. And top side stuff, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, 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 as well as you can. And then heels go into the ground, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it, floating right back up. Now, without using your hands, I want you to fold the legs, back in into a seated position, whatever looks comfy for you, okay? And I'd like to wrap up with two minutes of intentional breath work, okay? This is just gonna be a, a an aggressive in and pass it out. Aggressive in, pass it out. You can, you can, I want you to get as get, get comfortable however you need to. And you know what? If you if you if that's not speaking to you, if you want to sit here in this kind of butterfly position, if you want to sit with a block under you, if you you do however it is comfy for you. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here when you close your eyes if you want to, I'll be kind of in and out of closing my eyes, um, just because I have to keep an eye on the time. But I just want you to think about Hopefully how great you feel, the work you've done, the things you have to do today. Actually, don't think about those just yet, but all the things to be grateful for is what I should say. So, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. starts to wander, bring attention back to your breath. A full inhale. 